said that Charlemagne had slaves. Right, because they were bad Muslims, right? Some of them were bad so Muslims. the four rightly guided caliphs were all bad Muslims. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah, Walid, is Muhammad the example you should follow? Yes. Yeah, Walid. Yeah, yeah. Including when he owned slaves? Yes. There you go. Do you condemn the Arab slave trade that took Africans into the Middle East as sex slaves? Yeah. So he condemns Muhammad's teaching. I've, I've actually read up on Janissaries. And were they a slave army? Yeah, they were. There you go. So slavery wasn't abolished. What, were the what was the difference in method? What was the difference in method? Yeah. First of all, strategy in battle. We don't attack women and children. Yes, you we do. Don't. No, we don't. Tell what did Muhammad do? Tell me when. So Muhammad, in one of your hadiths, Muhammad was asked a question on a raiding party and he said, shall we attack the camp at night? Muhammad said this. Listen, oh. one of the oh, companions no. said to the prophet, shall we attack the camp at night? The camp of the Quraysh, uh, the camp of the pagans. And he was asked this question, shall we atta attack the camp at night when we will endanger their women and children? And Muhammad's reply was, they are from amongst them. In other words, we can attack the camp at night, yeah, no, even though women and children job. will be put in danger. That's a huge job. That's, a huge that's job. hadith. That's an assumption. Hadith? You've just hadith. interpreted that based on the assumption. What about this one? I have, wait, wait, I have one hadith that will refute what go you on, just go said. Go on, go on. One hadith, fight Muhammad another hadith. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there are rules and conditions of war. No killing women, no killing children, no killing the elderly, no destroying sanctuaries of other people, like and animals, <laughs> and, and, uh, trees and plants. So Muhammad broke all of rules? those rules. Yeah, rules. it's called the chivalric code, and it's better than what Muhammad. Where said. is it in the Bible? So, so listen, listen. Where is it in the Bible? No, 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 brother. If we let's have a conversation where you talk and I listen, and I talk and you listen, because if we don't have that kind of conversation, it descends into a shouting match. Now, do you want a shouting match or a conversation? I want a conversation, but I only right. two minutes. So, so, so let me let 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 let's be clear. All right. Muhammad broke all of the rules that he just mentioned. Yes. What did he do to the Kaaba? He destroyed the sanctuary of the pagans. So he's just quoted a hadith saying that Muhammad said in a rule of war, you don't destroy the sanctuary. You don't destroy religious sanctuaries. Muhammad destroyed religious sanctuaries. So according to his hadith, Muhammad is a bad man. Muhammad, there is a hadith where Muhammad has women Captured. Let me finish. Is it like Has, a time thing or? We can time it if you want. I don't want to time it. I right. Well, if you so so, let me finish. Let me finish. There's a hadith where one of Muhammad's companions in a raiding party fires an arrow in front of women and children who are fleeing, so he can capture them as slaves, and then they rape them, and Muhammad says that you shouldn't stop yourself. You shouldn't stop yourself from ejaculating into their vaginas. That's a hadith in a his lie. religion. I'm going to prove you wrong. No, no, this is a lie. So, Shaman how would you reply to that? Because your hadiths have just condemned your prophet. Uh, first of all, you have to prove. Yeah. First of all, you have to prove to me. Can we pull up the hadith about attacking the camp? Go ahead. Secondly, no, no, not not the attacking camp bit. The last bit you just said. Okay. Firing an yeah. I, 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 can can you? I can do that right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you want to hold that mic a bit? Go ahead. In the meantime, you can say whatever. All right, well, first of all, the rules of conduct in war. Stop being rude to him. The rules, to him. Right, the rules of conduct in war yeah. are basically the rules come from God. Okay. Allah told the Prophet to destroy the idols in his house. You know, the house of God. Yeah. Other than the house of God, what other sanctuary has Muhammad destroyed? You, uh, you can try that after. You know what I said. Another thing. The women and the children thing, you said that he broke the, the rules and attacked the women and children and raped them. Yeah, he's gonna find me, he's gonna find it now. He's gonna find it now. Look, you know, during the Prophet's time, sallallahu alayhi wa he never attacked women, children, elderly. He never broke any of these rules that you're claiming he broke. I'd love to see the proof of that. After the Prophet's time and after the four blessed leaders, after the four caliphs, everyone else was doing everything based on their own agenda. They weren't special in any way. They were humans and they were fallible like we were. They all made mistakes and they all broke rules. But Prophet Muhammad never done that and I'd love to see you know, the proof of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I wanna, I wanna, quote, I wanna show to you that, that women can become the victims of slavery. Okay? So, um, Slavery isn't killing women. No, no, no. They are, if you are attacking a community, 
and taking women as slaves, then they are the victims of war. Agreed? No, listen, on. listen. Is, is capturing people the same as killing them? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Let, let, I, I'm capturing saying, capturing and killing are the same. So you're you trying to justify slavery? No, I'm trying to say to you, capturing and killing aren't the same. Well, thing. well let me ask you a direct I'm question. The two. Is taking a woman as a slave due to jihad acceptable in Islam? Look, we believe first of all. The connotations of slavery that you're using is different to what we believe. So answer the, the question. Servitude. Secondly, answer yes, the question. I, I'll accept everything that comes from God. So you're you're acceptable with taking women as slaves in Islam? In what context? As sexual slaves. Sexual slaves. Yeah. If God allows me to do it, who are you to say I'm not allowed to do it? Right. So there's your problem. Where's this is why. Why, no, is wait, wait. why is it wrong? Well, right. So 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 here's here's why it's wrong. Because what it does is it says that there are degradations of humanity. That some humans are better than other humans. That's why it's wrong. And that's why, no, I'm going to talk now, because you've talked. So, so I, I just wanted, so you can see that I'm not making it up. Yeah, let me finish, let me finish. No, we're, we're getting, our conversation's going to break down into a shouting match. No, no, our conversation's going to break down into a shouting match if we interrupt one another. So I want to I want to point out. So no no I'm going to quote Dr Abdul Latif Mushtahari of 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 Azar University. Azar University. Azar University. I'm going to come to the hadith. I'm going to come to the hadith. Listen. Islam does not prohibit slavery but retains it for two reasons. The first is war in which the captive is either killed or enslaved. Provided, sorry, provided that the war is not between Muslims. It is not acceptable to enslave the violators or the offenders if they are Muslims. Only non-Muslims may be enslaved or killed. The second reason is the sexual propagation of slaves which would generate more slaves for their owners. This is a scholar from Azar University, and he has just said that you treat non-Muslims different to Muslims when it comes to slavery, which means that, that there is a denigration of humanity within Islam. No, one final point. And Muslims throw out red herrings. Oh, it's his opinion. This is a ulama from Azhar University. Azhar University is one of the highest establishments of Islamic learning in the Islamic world. Go on, you're going to reply. Uh, okay, he'd like to say something. Go you want me to reply? Yeah, you can reply yeah. if you like, but I yeah, also okay. want to say something. I, I can answer this. First of all, this is an opinion of a person. That's number one. Number two, in your Bible, it refers to slaves. It says that you can have slaves, and if you beat your slaves with a rod, and the slave dies in the first day, then you are punishable. If he does not, if he lives for a day, then that slave, you, are, you have nothing to do with it. You can beat him if he dies, a, if he dies the second day. You have nothing to pay for. This is in your Bible, not of an opinion of a person. Where is the hadith? An opinion of a person no, no, from us all. Oh, wait, wait, you no, were no, interrupting no, no, me no, continuously. No, no, no. Him. You were interrupting me. Place. That's really unfortunate no, no, no. because you interrupted me continuously no, no. and because now you're upset no, no, that no, no. I'm interrupting I'm you. Like right. Like so, like so, no so, so, so we're going to come to the hadith. No, no, we're going to come to the hadith. I want to have quoted your scholars. No, no. Now let me quote Ibn Ishaq. Now let me quote Ibn Ishaq. Why are you quoting scholars rather than what? Now, now, red herring, red herring. He's already said he agrees with slavery, so it's not like I'm lying. No, no. What's your point? You claim you have a going to well, come to the hadith. Right. We're going to the, come to the hadith. Earlier, Ibn Ishaq, page 466, talking about the apostle. Then the apostle sent Zaid bin al-Ansari, brother of Abdu Ashal, with some of the captive women of the Quran to Najd, and he sold them for horses and weapons. For horses and weapons. Where this is the supposed greatest example in the world Unlike and he's selling and women and children for horses and weapons. Now to address this brother's Unlike point, now notice virgins. he's complaining but he'll complain virgins when I interrupt him because that's what Muslims do all the time. 
in this corner. So, we Christians follow the New Testament, not the Old Testament. All of his arguments are from the Old Testament, not the New Testament. So I'll answer his question with a question. Where does Jesus own a slave? Where does Jesus abolish slaves in the Bible? Where does he say no slaves in the Bible? Where does Jesus in his time he has he saw thousands of slaves? Where did he free them? Yeah. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam yep. he ordered the freedom of slaves. He Muhammad sold slaves. No, no, no. Muhammad was a you slave are a trader. Liar. You are a liar. I've just quoted Ibn Ishaq. Is it a Show me the narration. Is Show me Ibn, Ibn Ishaq a liar? You are a liar. Answer this question. You are a liar. Is no, Ibn Ishaq a liar? You are a liar. No, I quoted Ibn Ishaq. Is Ibn Ishaq a liar? Show me the narration. Answer the question. No, no, show me the narration. Answer the question. I cannot. Is Ibn Ishaq a liar? Once you show me the narration. Answer the question. Is Ibn Ishaq a liar? Are you going to repeat more? No. Yes, no, I am. I cannot. Answer the question. Is I Ibn Ishaq a liar? Do you believe in Ibn Ishaq is a liar? I don't know who he is. No, no. What do, you, do you believe Ibn Ishaq? Amazingly, suddenly the Muslims, none of them know who Ibn Ishaq is. Give me the narration. Ibn Ishaq is the biographer of Muhammad. Okay. So what do you mean Ishaq has So, so. There is no biographer of Muhammad. So. He's infallible, sir. We don't have a biography. I have to go. Who is talking about uh, the capturing of women? Yeah. That, that's evil in your opinion. Could you, could you hold that for us, bro? Show, Show me the narration. The chain of narration all the way to the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Are you agreeing? Yeah, Sorry? You mentioned about the ejaculation. What? Yeah, it's not hadith. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to provide the evidence for you. I'm going to provide the evidence. I just need to find it. And it's amazing that you 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 can't even say whether you think Ibn Ishaq. Do you know who Ibn Ishaq is? I care less. I do you do you know who Ibn Ishaq is? I care less. They care less. I care less. Whenever their when sources embarrass them, they chuck them under the bus. We see it every week in the corner. Every. So you're saying Ibn Ishaq is a liar? I say you're a liar. No, Ibn Ishaq is a liar. Christian scholars. So you go by your own mind. I know. We look at like trading black slaves. Show me the narration. Show me the chain. Trading black slaves. Can yeah, we let's pull up black slaves. <laughs> so, they say that we're lying when we say that their prophet practiced slavery and trading in slaves. Is Sahih Bukhari a liar? No, that's Sahih Muslim. Sahih al Muslim, is he a liar? Sahih al Muslim reads this There came a slave and pledged allegiance to Allah's apostle. May peace be upon him. Now, bearing in mind, this means he became a Muslim. He ran away and became a Muslim. And look how Muhammad, the slave trader, dealt with him on the migration. He, the holy prophet, did not know that he was a slave. Then there came his master and demanded him back. Whereupon Allah's apostle said, sell him to me. And he bought him for two black slaves. And he did not afterwards take allegiance from anyone until he had asked whether he was a slave. So Muhammad sold black slaves and he said, he said that selling two black slaves was worth this other Muslim. So in other words, that's the economy that Muslim uh, Muhammad established. An Arab Muslim is, is better. Yes, that's Muhammad. Right, now tell us, wait, 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 one second. Is, am I lying? Is, is Sahih al-Muslim a liar? Is Sahih al-Muslim a liar? Where is the Look, Sahih al-Muslim, 1602. There you go, no. I'm not a liar like you. you're a liar. Is Sahih al-Muslim a liar? I'm not a liar like you. Is he a Muslim? Let me say a chain of narration. We go all the way to the Prophet's time. Always, always they change the goalposts. You literally, what, 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 what's that, our website there? I don't care. Let me see, let me see the chain of narration. Sooner.com. Sooner.com. That's our source. Go on, how would you reply to that? I reply to that. We've shown that Muhammad sold slaves. Okay, look. First of all, you have to understand the time period that Prophet Muhammad was in was in a time where slavery was right. It was everywhere. Sure, sure. Now, let me now elaborate a little bit. Is, is Muhammad our example for today? I'm not talking about anybody. I wanna, is I wanna Muhammad respond. our example today? No, I want to respond yeah, to no, is Muhammad our example today? Yes. Oh, but when you interrupt, you complain. <laughs> You interrupt me continuously and you complain. There's nothing working. Is Muhammad? Is Muhammad our example today? So let me talk to you. Because I'm just going to keep interrupting him because he continuously interrupts me. Is Muhammad our example today? So, 
the argument that he did this in the past is irrelevant if he is our example. So we should have slaves today, right? So you, Muhammad isn't our example then? No, no. Go on. No guy left or right. Go no, no, no. I'm following a very is, clear logic. Muhammad is our example today, tomorrow, and in the past. His time period was very different to ours. There aren't slaves here for us to trade on. There are no slaves here. Should there be? But, no. We don't believe in slavery. We don't believe slavery is halal. We don't believe you are better than another man. We don't believe in So was Muhammad committing sin when he had slaves then, if it's not halal? How do you know he had slaves? We literally just no, no, quoted no, no. your hadith. What you read was that he traded two black slaves yeah, no. So he was a Muslim slave trader. No, no. How do you know they belong to him? Okay, can we pull up the ones where... Was it, were they his right to sell? Listen, I'll ask you some questions. Ask me okay, all right. Questions. Can you sell? Right, how do I know that they're his? You ask that question, I'll answer. He sold them. And if he didn't sell his own property, that means he was selling someone else's property. And so we can surmise that they were owned by him. Perfect. Fair enough. No. Fair enough, enough. thank okay. you. I mean, no one really knows whether they were his or not. I was just no. saying that. But the point I'm trying to make is, that in a time where you're surrounded by slaves, and that's that's the currency for some people, the only way to abolish it is by freeing them. And the only way to free them is by buying them. How else can you, you can't take somebody else, I can't take your car away from you right now. I want to free the car and have to buy it off you first, and then free it. And that's what that, that that doesn't Now the two black ones, wait, the two black ones, and I'll be honest with you, I don't like lying. The two black slaves, the hadith you just showed me right now, I wasn't aware of. Yeah. Um, on top of that, Do you the want fact that he, he sold two for the, for the price of one. One Arab for two. two. Which implies uh, black was inferior. Because every time the, the hadiths want to point out someone's black, they say it. Why, why do they make a point of saying black slaves? What's no, no, the point? No, every time. Because there are times where the person slaves. is black and they don't mention about he's black. No, no, like Bilal. Did you say black is a no, no, Did you know he was black? Yeah. Why? They've mentioned it. Exactly. But they don't always no, no. say it. Exactly. They say it. Well, sometimes no. they say raisin, don't they? Raisin hair. No, no, no. Raisin hair. Right. No, no. So, brother, what are you think, reading? Brother, no, 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 Muhammad said that you should follow the caliph even if he is an Ethiopian with the head of a raisin. That's another yeah, one yeah, of your yeah, hadiths. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your prophet yeah. was racist to black people and traded in oh, black slaves, on. bro. How is that racist? No, no, no. If I call you blue eyes, is that racist? No, no, no. 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 It's a description. No. No, no, no. Now, he described a person as raisin head. <laughs> Raisin, okay, what does that mean to if you? If I said to you, to you, maybe if I said to you, because you might be, in, I don't know, no, inherently no, no. racist. No, no. No, no. Let me ask you, no, no. I'm just saying, yeah. brother, how do you know it's racist? What's your name, bro? Ali. Ali, you seem like a nice person. My name is Bob. Ali, you have, you, you're in your heart, the fact that you want to reject slavery already makes you better than Muhammad. No, it doesn't. It really Muhammad does. was the first man on earth to abolish no, slavery he didn't from abolish a whole it. peninsula. He didn't. Tell me anyone else that Muslims has abolished slavery oh, no, no, no. for 1400 years without did Jesus interruption. What kind of slavery? Did Jesus abolish you slavery? Speak so much that I'm going to give you an example. Wait, wait, wait. Now, you asked me to give you an example. Uh, the hadith, it's in Sahih al Bukhari, <coughs> and this is it, narrated by Abu Said al Qudri, that while he was sitting with Allah's Apostle, he said, Oh, Allah's Apostle, we get female captives as our share of booty, and we are interested in their prices. What is your opinion about coitus interruptus? This is talking about ejaculating inside them. The Prophet said, do you really do that? It is better for you not to do it. No soul which Allah has destined to exist will surely come into existence. Okay, so Muhammad is saying, so you wanted what kind of sex, what kind of slavery? Sex slavery. That was the original can, you just, I'm can, you, can you explain to me what that says again? So, basically what happens is they've won a war, They've captured female slaves and they want to know about the prices of the slaves and they want to know if coitus interruptus allowed. is allowed because it will affect the prices of the women, i.e. a pregnant slave is it's worth less than a non-pregnant slave. And so Muhammad says, don't do coitus interruptus, which means what he's saying is don't ejaculate. No. Coitus interruptus means yeah. that you withdraw before the point of ejaculation. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what he's saying is, ejaculate inside them. That's your prophet. That's okay. your great example. No, 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 what does that mean to you? What that means, it means that Muhammad is a disgusting individual. No, no, no. no. Before you he is not a moral example. No, no. If he says to his people, don't pull out, continue to have sex, have children with his women, what does that mean to you? It means that Allah, Muhammad, values these women so little 
that he allows these women to be captured as slaves, used as sex toys. I think it would be worse to sex a woman and pull up. That, that would basically mean... Talk about, talk about missing the elephant in the room. <laughs> We're talking about the sexual slavery of women and he's trying to talking. argue about the best way no, to no. rape them. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You said, okay, let me rephrase what you said and you told me if I'm right. Yeah. You said Muhammad told his people to not... Do you quite just interrupt us? Yeah, to basically ejaculate in them. Have yes. children with these women. Yeah. And you're telling me that that is worse, far worse, than him telling these people to just have sex with them but don't have kids, do whatever you want, sell them. You think that's worse than that? I am, I am saying... It's A worse than B, bitch. Right, yes, I am saying that each of these things is so a... So to settle wait, down wait, wait, bro. with a woman, have children with them, is worse than just using them and abusing them. So let, 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 what I'm so saying... Now Bob is basically saying that using and abusing is a better form of taking care of your captured people rather than actually settling down with them. So let, let, let me just that's let me just deal with that point. <coughs> let me just deal with that point because this is this is what we can see as clutching straws. Hold your mic, bro. Um, this is what we see as clutching the straws. Like no one heard me I, say. I, I mean, I could respond to it. Wait, wait, one second. One second. This is this is how desperate he is to try and make his profit look good. To try and make his profit look good, yeah. he's trying to make me look worse. <laughs> but the point is, we've got a camera and a microphone, bro, well, like, and now. and no one no one heard me say these words. What you have put into my mouth, I, know, I condemn you. slavery. You have justified. You have tried to justify the raping of slaves by saying, "Oh well, it would be worse to rape them in another way." That is what Muhammad has done to you. That is what following Muhammad has done to you. All right, one second. It gets worse. Can I, can I Let me finish. No, no. Properly. Let me finish. No, you had your chance. You should have used it. This is what the Quran says in Surah 4, Surah 24, Ayah 33. But force not your maids into prostitution when they desire chastity in order that you make a gain in the goods of this life. But if anyone compels them, Yet after such compulsion is Allah for off forgiving most merciful. So Allah is saying, don't prostitute your slaves, but if you do, I'll forgive you anyway. It's just right there. What does he say? You read it. You read it. Which verse is it? 34? Underlined. Okay. But force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity. So when they don't want to have sex, yep. don't force them. Agreed. That is what the Quran is saying. In order that you make a gain, you may make a gain in the goods of this life. Who's the you? You, the men. The men who are doing it. The men who are right. Doing carry it. on. But if anyone compels them, yet after such compulsion is Allah of forgiven, most most If anyone compels them to do what? To be prostitutes. To be prostitutes. Yes. If anyone apart from those men or those men themselves. Those men are the ones compelling them. Okay. So there you go. So do you not see that Allah is forgiving people who are forcing slaves into prostitution? No, 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 no. You put, look. Go on, what do you think it, it means? Chastity. Prostitution in terms of what? You think those men were allowing their slaves to sleep with everyone else? It says but prostitution. Islam, it says you know prostitution that? right there. Uh, but you have to understand the context of Islam. We don't allow prostitution. Are you sure? I'm sure. We aren't even allowed to sleep with women that aren't from our right hand. So our wives or, like the Quran no. says, our captured women. No. So, exactly. Right. Now, we wait, can wait, sleep wait, with wait, our wait, captured wait. women. We can see with the one we've captured. I can't there you it. go! No, you've misunderstood what I'm trying to say though. Try to understand where I'm coming from. If the Quran says you're not allowed to have sex with women other than your wife. And your slaves. And your slaves. So it's sex wait, slavery. Wait, wait, okay. Other than these two, you're not allowed to have sex outside of that, right? So we are talking now, about sex slavery then? Whoa, whoa. Can I just finish my point? Yeah. Now, this verse, what you're talking about, and this verse is prostitution. Do you realize that? This yes. verse is talking about prostituting your slave. Yeah. Now he's saying, if if you prostitute your slave, yeah. Then uh, what do you call it? You can't. Uh, you'll, you'll be forgiven. Yes. For Maybe that's for other reasons. But it's not for me to go around and sleep with, you know, other guys and sleep. I'm not allowed to do that. So you have to understand where that, where it's come from. That is for the men themselves who are the masters of those servants. Bro, do you want do you want to own a slave? No. Why not? I'm not in that time period. 
No, that's not answering the question. I, I mean, look, we, I, there I are slaves today. Slavery. Look, don't you don't slavery. believe in slavery. I don't believe in slavery. And but this you've is misunderstood that, the slavery. Thank you. Right. You, you've, you've spoke. You've made it the same as the one so, in Christianity. So, 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 hold on one second. So, what we've seen is you're better than Muhammad because Muhammad believed and practiced slavery. You've already testified to the fact that the Quran teaches sexual slavery. You've already testified to that. There's no point denying it. We got you on camera. Literally, we caught you on camera saying it. So one second, one second, one second. So you're better than your prophet. And I'm saying to you, bro, if you don't want to do what Muhammad says you can do, then what you're saying is that you want someone better than Muhammad. And that person is Jesus. Because Jesus lived in a time of slavery and he never owned a slave. Jesus said, one second, one second. Let, let me actually read you what the Bible says about, what the New Testament says about slavery. Time what you're looking for. Why you're doing it, I'm going to say something, right? Look, the slavery thing that you want to speak about, the sex slavery that you call it. In your Quran. It's not sex slavery though. You literally, you literally said, you literally said, yeah, you literally said, you literally said you can have, you, you said you can have sex with your slaves. You said that. You have ignorant and so. Ah, it's all right, bro. I've got it. I've got it. You misunderstood it. What is slavery to you? What is it? When one own person owns another person. Yeah, in what sense? That they can sell them, like yeah, Muhammad did. Is there, is there rules of conduct for those people? No, you've asked me what the definition of slavery is. I've given it to you. When so I can sell them. another human being for a price, that is my definition of slavery. All right, look, at the end of the day, What's your definition? My definition of servitude. Right. right. Of all, not slavery. Wait, wait, wait. So you can not sell them. Slavery. Can you sell them? Servitude. Can you sell them? Um, yeah, I think, I think we're allowed to. Yeah, there you go. I think we're allowed to. There you go. Yeah, you're, you have to understand the context of it, don't you? Don't you? Can't you hear yourself, bro? On one hand, you're saying, I don't want to own a slave. But then in the no, next look. breath, you're saying, we can. I'm telling you, a nation like this, where everyone's going, you know what I mean, crazy, killing each other, taking over each other's people, uh, uh, homes and lands or whatever. In that context, what do you do with a people who you've just beat in a battle? What happens to their women? What happens to them? If, if we leave them all, into, and, and allow them to go out into the wild, they will get raped or killed, right? They'll get so they raped our... or killed. Yes. So what we'll do is we'll rape them ourselves. No, now you're putting words into my mouth. That's what exactly saying, what we're no, talking I'm, about. You're words into my mouth. What I'm saying is, the women that we've captured, and the children that we've captured, and the men that we've captured, we take care of them. There are rules of conduct to these people. By having sex with them. them. We feed them, and if they wish, it's consent based by the way. I, I'm not even sure if you know that. If the women want to have sex with us, we have a grace period. After one month or something, we're allowed to have sex with us. If there was no if there weren't no grace period, then I'd understand where you're coming from about how Muslims just want to rape and kill women. I'd understand. But there's a grace period. But even that's explain, wrong. Can you explain why there's a grace period to have sex with women? So what, what kind of religion would allow would, would, would tell you to have a grace period yep, yep. if there were so if there were four, um, you know... Rape okay, are you done? So, so here, here's be, here, let's be clear. When Muhammad captured the land of the Quraysh, the, the Jewish tribes, yeah. Safiya was one of the captured women. Yeah. Muhammad had sex with her within a week yeah. of that capturing. So, so much for the grace period. <laughs> the, the, the point is, so there you go. There you go. So Muhammad, the greatest example, does exactly the opposite of what he's saying. Muhammad had sex with Sophia, a captured Jewish woman, within a week of her capture. So this grace period, it's utter rubbish. It's complete baloney. And what we've got, and here's the difference between your religion and my religion, is that my religion applies at all times and in all places. Christ said, love one another, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Well, as a neighbor, would I would I want to be taken as a slave? Well, no. You you ask no. You know, one second. One Muhammad second. One second. Oh. Muhammad permits you to have slaves. Christ commands you to love your neighbor as yourself. I don't want to be taken as a slave. So does that mean that I should own a slave? If I was a slave, I would want to be set free. So if I own a slave, what do I do? You set them free. So Christ teaches a maxim 
that leads to the abolishment of slavery. But that's he why. One slave. That's why. But he has a ministry, that's he why. A that's why. When Paul sent back a slave to his master, he said, "Receive him, not as a slave, but as a brother, not as a slave." So the New Testament does abolish slavery. Where? I literally just quoted to do to you. He sent Paul sent a slave to Jesus. Yes. No. Onesimus. I'll read it to you. I'll read it to you. It's in the book, letter of Philemon. The funny thing is, Muhammad also tells his this, uh, his people to be good to their neighbor. But that doesn't mean that Jesus is better than Muhammad or Muhammad is better than Jesus. They just have good teaching. Now you have made a lot of claims, Bob. You've said that um, what do you call it? Uh, um, oh shit, man. Well, so, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Listen, uh, I haven't really got that much. Time. So while while you're while you're finding that, you wanted me to show you where in the scriptures slavery was abolished. I'm going to give you an example of where a slavery was abolished. In the letter of Philemon, Paul, writing to Onesimus, says, Perhaps this is the reason he was separated from you for a while, so that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother. No longer as a slave. Even Paul is better than Muhammad because Paul said no longer as a slave, but Muhammad sold two black slaves and gave advice about trading in slaves. There is a fundamental difference between me, even this brother who doesn't want to own slaves, Paul who set slaves free, Jesus who never owned a slave, and Muhammad, who owned slaves, permitted the rape of slaves and traded in slaves himself. Yeah. So first of all, you made a statement based on Paul's letter. Now, that slave that was sent to this other guy, right? How do you know his treatment after he was sent to this other guy? He said he was being treated as a brother initially, but you don't know what comes after that. Whereas Muhammad, on the other hand, has freed multitudes of slaves. One perfect example, Bilal. He freed Bilal and gave him a raised position. He allowed him to be the man who does the Adam. In your belief, was there ever a time period during Jesus' ministry or just after he where a slave could become a king or a slave could become, you know what I mean, something much higher than he would have been? I'll answer that. Answer that. One of the popes of the church was born and raised a slave. He gained his freedom and became the pope when? of the church. When? Was in, in the first 400 years. I don't know exactly which one. Fair enough, fair enough. That means they're just like good hearted people. Innit? But look, the thing is, in Islam, slavery was abolished. No, it wasn't. It was abolished. Wait, wait, wait. Islam has practiced slavery for 1400 years. When was it abolished exactly? What year was it abolished? Look, your understanding of slavery and my understanding of slavery aren't the same thing. When was it abolished? This is why we're having misunderstandings. What year was slavery abolished in Islam? During Muhammad's time. So why did Muslims take. What about the Janissaries? The Janissaries. What, what about. about the Janissaries were kidnapped. I know, who they are. I know who they were. Were they slaves? They were captured people, kids. They were captured. By, by Muslims, trained. Christian children. The, no one forced Islam on them though. They were captured. Yes, it was forced on them. Islam was forced on who? Yes, it was forced on the Janissaries. Yes. The testimonies of the children that it fought to escape the Janissaries and did so because they were being forced into Islam. You see, the problem wait, 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 is... Listen, listen, listen. I've, I've actually read up on Janissaries. And were they a slave army? Yeah, they were. There you go. So no, slavery no, wasn't abolished. It wasn't a slave army. Like, look, the were they slavery slaves? you're talking about with the Janissaries and with the Arabs, that is nothing compared to the, you know, the, the Atlantic slave trade. What about the Mamluks? Huh? What about the Mamluks? The Mamluks were slaves too. There you go. So slavery wasn't abolished. Look, he keeps saying slave. Muhammad abolished slavery and then he admits that Muslims practice slavery. And he himself says that slavery is permitted. He no, said the that. Point, the point I'm trying to make, Bob, how is, could, how, you, look, did you Muhammad say that slavery is permitted? Muhammad, Muhammad we'll do a flashback. We don't allow prostitution. Are you sure? I'm sure. 
we aren't even allowed to sleep with women that aren't from our right hand. So our wives or like the Quran no. says, our captured women. No. So exactly. Right. Now, we wait, can wait, sleep wait, with wait, our wait, captured wait. women. We can sleep with the one we've captured. I can't there believe. you go. Muhammad abolished it. But people continue doing what they wish to do. Did you say, his time period, you know? did you say, I'll take it. There you go, there's your mic. What I said was, Muhammad abolished it. Just, well, Muhammad abolished it. Just because people after him did it, it doesn't mean it wasn't abolished. What happened? Muhammad, did you take it off? Yeah, I took it off. Oh, sorry, but I'm about to go now. One minute, I'm going. won by a woman. Yeah, so, people acted on their own desires after Muhammad, with their own agendas. But during Muhammad's time period, uh, uh, slavery was abolished. Right, bro. Not slavery in the sense of going out and taking people slaves. by force. No, no, going out to the slaves that we had in Islam weren't, weren't people that we went out all the way to Africa to buy and capture and kidnap. We weren't like that. Yes, you were. No, okay. you, what were the janissaries again? Bro, the Janice, all right, how about this? I'll, I'll tell you exactly what they are. You know, shall I tell you, shall I tell you what? Brother, shall I tell you why you're struggling? I'm not struggling. Here's why you're struggling. I'm not struggling. Right? You, no, 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 no. You, here's why you're struggling. You're struggling because you don't want to accept what your conscience is telling you that Muhammad was an evil man no, who taught like evil words, things. Man, that's, what that's what it is. And so you're struggling because you want to free Muhammad from his evil actions by saying he wasn't a slaver when all the evidence says that he was. You're trying to free Muhammad from establishing the Islamic slavery when you yourself know that that's exactly why Muslims practice slavery. Slavery was existing before Islam came a thousand of years. Any time period where Muslims have had slaves was Islamic carried people to free slaves. That's what Islam did. With whoever it was that we were facing. With the Janissaries, for example, it was against the Greeks mostly and the Serbs, right? And the Slavs. When we conquered, does that make it Turks, okay? Wait, when the Turks conquered, the, you've done the same thing. I don't know why you're talking about. Is it, is it okay? Does it make it okay? So, do you know when Christians abolished slavery? It's not about. Do you know when survival. Christians abolished slavery? Do you know when Christians, survival. Christians survival. abolished slavery? I don't think you don't have one. Go and tell me. Right. right, the Christians abolished slavery the first time in the fifth century. Who did it? Uh, Christians. Who? Who specifically? The Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine slavery was abolished. The Byzantines who had slaves up until the 14th century no. had abolished it. Are no, sure about no, no. Slavery was abolished in the 5th century. The oh, thing about slavery is, as St. Augustine oh, says, it's an expression of sin. It that comes out of economic oh, depravity. Huh? That's where slavery emerges. It comes out of the matrix of oh. economic depravity. Oh, so people exchange. There's a transaction that occurs oh, between freedom and security. You Barry, sacrifice freedom to gain security. And so um, slavery always comes back when poverty is left to such extremes. But Islam practices war slavery, the taking of war what the booty. Hell does that mean? It means it that you believe, that you believe if there was a jihad that was established by a proper Islamic caliph and you were victorious over your enemies, you could have people as slaves. You could have this young, beautiful Christian sister as a slave. You could own her as a person and sell her and have sex with her. That's the reality of Islamic teaching and that's why it's retrobate and that's why you should stand up to Islam and stand up to Islamization. And that's why, as Christians, we have a better example in Jesus. Because Jesus said, I have come to set the captive free. That's what Jesus said. I'm going to show you. Before, ask, before you answer, let me, let me make something clear. First of all, right? Can you Google, uh, bro? Yeah, Show me where Christ said, um, I've come to set the captive free. All right, first of all, you made a claim that slavery only happens when basically a country's broke. When Let's country, just move away from the uncle, because... You claim that slavery happens when in a country when the country is basically broke, when it doesn't have enough, you know, infrastructure, economy, and the economy's not doing great. Yep. People will sell their freedom rather than try to find jobs, right? Yeah. Okay, now... In a country, let's just say the UK, just as an example, right? 500 years ago, the UK was conquered by, I don't know, the Germans, let's just say. If the Germans conquered the UK, killed majority of the men in the battle, right? There's going to be a good third or two thirds of the women single and without a husband, right? And there'll be a lot of children and whatnot. They won't have any way to feed their families. The only way for them to make money or income is to go into servitude. 
Servitude to who? To the conqueror. The ones who can probably give you a job. Maybe take care of the house. I've maybe, got it, I've got it. You know, Thank you. Help their yeah. wives. That, that's what the servitude that we believe in. Not, oh, you're in chains and, you know, you sleep here with your hand tied up like that. We don't believe in that stuff. That's not Islam. Islam says, offer the people you've conquered servitude, jobs, livelihood, protection, shelter. That's what you're offering them. So, let's be clear. What we have heard in the 21st century, despite our great advancements in abolishing the slave today. trade, we've heard someone try to justify slavery again. We've heard someone try to justify the practice of slavery. A man that can't even admit that Muslims practiced slavery for 1400 years. No, I, Kidnapping I Christian children and forcing them to be slave soldiers and sending them back to fight their own mothers and fathers. A man that admits that Islam permits the sexual rape of slaves. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we showed where Paul abolishes slavery. He said, no longer as a slave. But listen to Jesus' own commands. In Luke chapter 4, reading verse 18 and on. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release for the captives. The captives is a reference to slavery. And Christ is here to proclaim freedom for the captives. And that is why for 2,000 years, Christians have been fighting against the slave trade, whilst for 1,400 years, Muslims have been practicing the slave trade. So who are the people that took Africans to America? Muslim Arabs. No, who? Muslim Arabs. Who took them to America? No, no, no. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Yeah. So to America, yes, that was Europeans. Yeah, yeah. And you condemn that, right? Of course I do. Yeah. Do you condemn the Arab slave trade that took Africans into the Middle East as sex slaves? Yeah. So he condemns Muhammad's yeah. teaching. Yeah. 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 He yeah. condemns yeah. yeah. Muhammad's yeah. teaching. Um, listen, listen, one second. Let me like try to you know, make it easier for you to understand yeah. where I'm coming from. Yeah? Look, Arabs have been doing a slave trade for longer than the West, probably. Longer than the West. Now, now, true, Wasim listen, says. Listen, listen. True. That is because first the West intelligent comment was he's ever more made. Underdeveloped uh, than Africa. It was more yeah. underdeveloped than Arabia. It was more underdeveloped than Asia. Now, all these other lands practiced it, not just Arabs. Yep. Everyone practiced it. Everyone practiced it. Now, the understanding of what slavery is yep. is where me and you are. You get me? We're, we're going left and right. We're really not. We're misunderstanding each other because. What's my definition of slavery? Was the slavery in Asia the same as the one in What uh, was in my definition of slavery? Anyone who owns someone. What I said was, no, and I didn't. You see, you weren't listening. Is I'll tell you again what my definition of slavery is when you can buy and sell another human being. Yeah. And did we not give you a hadith where Muhammad sold two black slaves? Did we not show you that? Yeah. Yes, we did. Yes. So that's the definition that I'm using. Well, and I'm using mean. something that Muhammad did as my definition. No, but you're, you're so we're not talking that. about different categories of slavery, we're talking about the Islamic one. Islamic slavery? What is Islamic? Listen, you've equated Arab slave trade to an Islamic one. Can you, can you tell me how that's the same thing? So, it's a great question. Arab slavery and Islamic slavery. Okay. It's going on much longer than Islam. So, here's, here's what we've got. The problem is that Muhammad enshrines in Sharia law slavery. The buying and selling of human beings, the sexual slavery of female captives. That is what Muhammad enshrines. And yet, and yet, and yet, he doesn't want to do that himself. He condemns it when the Arabs did it to the Africans. The Arabs did it to the Africans because Muhammad said do it and he's saying it's wrong, he condemns it. So that means he's condemning Muhammad. The difference, the difference between Arab slavery and Islamic slavery is there's just more rules about Islamic slavery than Arab slavery in pagan times. Yeah, there's more rules. That's it? Yes. That's the difference. Essentially, so it is the slaves, same. It is the buying and selling of human beings as property. Where can we procure, in, in Islam, 
Thank you. Islamically, because you, because you know so much about Islam, right? Islamically, where are we allowed to procure slaves? In the market. In the market. Muslims are doing it today in Sudan. Slaves are still being sold in Africa. Black Africans are still being sold in an Islamic Republic Somalia that says slaves. it follows Somalia. Sharia law. Somalia is also an Islamic Republic. We don't sell slaves. So your point refuted right there. It's not Slavery Islamic. is practiced in Somalia. Where? I literally just said in Somalia. You said Sudan. There are still slaves in Somalia. There are still Sudan. slaves in Sudan. Okay, where there are Somalia? still slaves in Mauritania. There are still slaves. And it's illegal. illegal and Wasim, the difference is, is that slavery is illegal like in the Europe, the but in the, the, the Islamic they world, slavery is still legal. And that's the difference between Christ's example and Muhammad's example is that when you follow Jesus, you abolish slavery. When you follow Muhammad, you legalize slavery. This man talking about the, the, the morals of these days, but what happened? Muhammad no, 1400 no, I'm talking about ago. the morality of Muhammad. That's who I'm talking about. The morality of Muhammad. Tell me, is no Muhammad the no example that you should follow, Wasim? Wasim, is Muhammad the example you should follow? Is Muhammad the example you should follow, Wasim? You compare it to the moral of these days. My apologies, Walid. Is Muhammad the example you should follow? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Including when he owns slaves? Yes. There you go. There you go. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. No. JC. Did Jesus own a slave? Should we follow Jesus? Yes. Therefore, should I own a slave? No. So that's the difference it's between right. following it's Jesus right. and following it's Muhammad. Right. Then correct him. Correct him. Correct him. Look, 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 look. I have a question for you. Go on. In the Bible, does it say that you're not allowed to have a slave or that you should free them if you see them? So we've got the example of Paul. Paul is... No, you asked a question. Have, yes, so allow me to answer. Allow me to answer. Allow me to answer. Uh, there's no point asking a question if you're not going to listen oh, to the answer. The, the right. Go ahead, go ahead. So, the church is built on the apostles and prophets. That's what it says in scripture. So we take from the prophets, we filter them through the apostles, and then we follow what comes out of the mix. Paul was an apostle. He freed the slaves. Oonzimus was a slave owner. In the book of Phili in the book of Philemon, the sorry, in the book of Philemon, who was the slave owner, Awanzimus, the slave, was sent back to his slave, not as a slave. He was a slave, but he was sent back not as a slave. Christ said, I have come to proclaim freedom to the captives. That term captives is an Old Testament term. It refers to slavery. And Jesus said, I have come to proclaim freedom to the captives. In the New Testament, it lists as those who are going to hell, those who capture slaves. But well, funny enough, either your Bible contradicts itself or one of them is a lie. Now, look, in the Bible, doesn't it also say that a man who is a slave owner, who, you know, punishes his slave, yep doesn't get punished if that slave doesn't die in the same day. Right, you've asked the question, allow me to answer. He's absolutely right. The Old Testament does have a passage about the punishment of slavery. But what Muslims always do not understand about the Christian faith is the concept of Old Covenant and New Covenant. We, no, one second, let me finish. The verse that you're quoting is part of the Mosaic Law. Ask any Christian if the Mosaic law is Old Covenant or New Covenant. They'll say it is Old Covenant. The New Covenant has no concept of slavery. It talks about the idea of us being set free as captives. Christ came to set us free from the captivity to sin. 
This inspired Christians to set slaves free, and they were doing so from the first century, the third century, the first century, fourth century, fifth century. That's when the Byzantine Empire stopped slavery. Slavery re-emerged in Europe after Islam emerged in the seventh century. That's a that's a bold claim. Mm -hmm. That's a very bold claim. In Europe, the French. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Do you know about Charlemagne? Yes. Did Charlemagne have slaves in his court? Yes, he did. Do you know about? Wait, right, hold on one second. Do we all agree that there are good Christians and bad Christians? Well, that wasn't what you asked. Right, one second. The fact that a Christian owns slaves. It's funny you're saying that though. Let, let, let's I say wait. there's good Muslims and bad Muslims. You don't want to hear none of that. And the best Muslim is Muhammad, right? Of course. And he owned slaves, did he not? No. So like, he Who's he slave? We sold slaves. No, no. You said he owned slaves. Who's he he slave? permitted slavery. You, uh, look, you said Did he permit slavery? Are you, are you, are you Did he permit that slavery? Are you taking that back? Right, so are now let me answer back? your question. So we talked about Charlemagne. Let us talk about Charlemagne. Charlemagne owned slaves. All this proves is that in this aspect of Charlemagne's life, he was a bad Christian. It, it doesn't prove. It doesn't prove. It does not prove that Christianity permits slavery, only that some Christians practice slavery. So when we say One second. After Muhammad did it because in Islam, in Saudi Arabia, Islam, it, Saudi Arabia has practiced slavery for 1400 years. The first time slavery was abolished in England was in 1066. The Muslims only abolished slavery because the West forced them to do so when was that? in the 1900s. The West forced us. Mm -hmm. okay. The West forced you, the Islamic you, world to World abolish two? slavery. When, after, after when was slavery abolished in Saudi Arabia? 1960. 1960. I, I did not know that. Now you know. No, no, listen. Now tell me, if Islam... If, if Islam... If, well, one second. If Islam, if Islam abolished slavery at the time of Muhammad, how is it that it didn't get stopped in Saudi Arabia until 1960? For the same reasons you said that Charlemagne had slaves. Right, there you go. because they were bad Muslims, right? Some of them were bad so Muslims. the four rightly guided caliphs were all bad Muslims. No. Bingo. And that's the problem, is to you're trying to free Islam from slavery and you can't do it. You just can't Before do it. Before you go there, Bob, do you have proof that under the four caliphs, the first four caliphs, there was slavery? Yes. What's your proof? When they, when they captured women, they had slaves. When they captured women? That's very vague. Did they oh, have yes, slaves? Yes, they had slaves. Was there they like any names they had know, slaves. Like we can find hadiths of the, the... We can find hadiths of them owning right. and selling slaves. No, no. This is what I'm trying to say, Bob. Are you, I'm having this conversation... Just, just put it on camera. Are you saying that the four rightly caliphs never had any slaves? Yes. Yeah, right. We're free. going to prove him wrong. Sorry? We're going to prove you wrong. Go on, prove it. Look, first of all, what I want to make clear to everyone here is that in Islam, there is no, un there is no term slave. That's just a translation. The, the actual thing is servitude. I've explained that to you like five times by now, right? This servitude is not the same as the, you know, the servitude in Christianity or anywhere else. We have rules and conditions for the servitude in Islam. Meaning, we treat people with respect and kindness, we clothe them, we feed them, right? We, we put a roof over their head, we even pay them in some case. And they are allowed to go free. If they go to a court, what slaves do you know in history that can go to a court and free themselves? Can you tell me that? Okay. Let me just, let me just find something. Because I don't understand. In Christianity or any other part of the world, in the whole of his history, in the whole of history, there's never been a time where a slave could go and appeal for his freedom. There's never been a time. So, so Abu Bakr was the caliph after Muhammad. Yeah. He was one of the rightly guided caliphs. Yeah. Yep. So let's just let's just look at this. Because Abu Bakr also had slaves. Bear with me. I stayed there way longer than I needed to. Do you need to go? I do, I do, I do. Um, can we make this the last point then? If you don't mind. Then I'll go after this. Right, I'm struggling to find exactly where it is. Listen. 
So, most of the slaves liberate, this is from Wikipedia, which I accept is not the best source. Okay. So we'll need to get some further research to see where the person's put it into Wikipedia. So I accept that Wikipedia is not the best source, but we can trace back where, why the person has put it in this. Most of the slaves liberated by Abu Bakr were either women or old and frail men. When the father of Abu Bakr asked him why he, why he did not liberate strong and young slaves who could be a source of strength for him, Abu Bakr replied that he was freeing the slaves for the sake of God and not for his own sake. In other words, Abu Bakr was not freeing all the slaves he owned. It means that he had slaves. He had slaves. You just answer yourself. You're not listening. No, wait, wait. Why didn't he liberate the strong and young slaves? Listen. Why didn't he liberate strong and young slaves? One of them is Bilal. Is, is he is he his slave? No. It's disputed whether no. uh, Bilal no. was freed at the time no, of Muhammad. Uh, no, he was, you know, that slave, Bilal. He was beaten. He was putting stone in his body. Who's, who saved him from that? Huh? Who? Huh? And he pissed from his own pocket. And he told him, go, you are free. You're such a liar. No, bro. You're, You're lying to yourself. No. You can't free Islam wait, from slavery. Listen, listen, you can't listen. separate slavery wait, from Islam. And that's why we must stand up to Islam. And that is why being a disciple of Jesus is better than being a disciple of Muhammad. Bro, it was right. No, it's his. It's his. Uh, his. His. See the truth. So, bro, it was a real pleasure talking to you. Let me give you a gift. I'd like to give you a gift. This is a very pleasant conversation. And I and I appreciate I appreciate your time. Yeah. So, bro. Can you clarify that one point? Do you have a Bible, bro? Bro. Do you have a Bible, bro? Bro. Okay. No, no, I, I showed you from your own sources. I showed you from your own sources. He shouldn't lie about 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 the prophet. Why he shouldn't? Never stop to Muslim lying about Jesus. Never stop to Muslim lying about history. You can't fast. You 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 free slave. In time of the prophet, you free a slave. But you've got to own a slave to free them. And that is the logical inconsistency of the Muslim argument. What would you have done, Bob, if there were slaves around you and you wanted to free them? How would you have freed them? In the same way Christians are still freeing Muslim-owned slaves today, we buy them. We buy them and set them free. Hold on, hold on. You know what you just said? Say that again out loud for the camera, Yeah. So, Christians in the 21st century are going into the Islamic world and freeing Muslim slaves. Now these charities do that by going and buying the slave and then setting them free. Okay. So when no. Muhammad does that, no. he's a Do these charities warlord. have the power to but go into those countries and force the issue? No. They have to work within the economy established by the Muslims. The very fact that these Christian charities can go into the Muslim world and buy slaves and set them free is because Muslims are willing to own slaves and sell slaves.